Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to talk about today is replacing a background. And in this particular photograph, I have got this big truck against a flat, featureless, not even nice blue sky. So what we want to do is get a, a nicer look in the background. I have a couple candidates and they are this one, we can use this one, which is a stock photo. Or we can use this one, which is Las Vegas. It's got all kinds of cool things in there we could uh, use as the background. We can move it around. Or the third one is this one here. Uh, real cool boats, two of them racing along. And, uh, and maybe we'll try all three of them if we have enough time. So let's get going. What we have to do is bring in our layers palette and we want to duplicate this background layer just so you have a, a copy. Now we're going to go to the channels palette and click on red, green, and blue one by one and see which one has the greatest contrast between the truck and the background. So we'll do the red. Yeah, that's okay. There's the green. It's about the same as the red. Blue has probably got a bit more contrast. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate that channel. Drag this down here to duplicate it. Now we got blue copy. Aha. Now the next step is to get the levels dialog. And here's the levels. Notice down here you got these three eyedroppers. This is the shadows one, this is the highlights one. So we're going to take the shadow one first. And we're going to start tapping around on this truck or left clicking if you're using a mouse. And we're going to try and make this truck as black as we can. So we keep searching for a grayer and grayer, grayer area. I guess that's probably pretty much it. We've got these little white dots all over the place, but that doesn't matter. We'll get rid of them. Okay, so we've done the, the shadows. Now we're going to do the highlights. So this is the highlight one here. And we know the sky is white, so we're going to start tapping in the sky. And we're going to make it as white as we can. Keep going. And I keep filling it in again. Okay, so let's uh, just tap OK. And that's we've got a nice black and white one here. It's not perfect yet by any stretch of the imagination. So what we're going to do is bring in the tool toolbar, hit the D key and the X key to bring black to the front, snag the brush tool, put this out of the way, and I'm just going to paint in all the, the white spots that are showing up. Oh, look at that. It's, it's doing my my uh, logo, which is another layer. Okay, we'll get as, as much as we can. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect, because we're going to fix it later. Okay. There, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit on the on the front of the truck here. And see how it is for, for white. Get my brush. I'm going to make it a lot smaller, because we're working in a smaller area. Too small. Okay, now we're going to paint in that white just around here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out to full size. And you do that by, that's 100%, by double tapping on the, uh, the zoom icon. Nice little quick shortcut. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. And we're going to do some more work on it. So to make a selection now, what we do is press the controller command key and tap on the blue copy. And now it's a selection. And if I turn it back to the full RGB in the channels and we go over to the layers, this is what we've got. Now what I want to do is look at it like it's a, a in a quick mask mode. So this is your quick mask tool. And let's see where we are here. That's looking pretty good, but there's probably some things that need fixing. Uh, let's go take a look at them, especially the windows. We want to be able to see through the windows and see the background through there. So get our brush tool again. 10 is too big, which it was sitting at. Is that okay? That's, a, I guess, a good size. Maybe take it down one or two. Okay. Now I'm going over, but if I was doing this as a keeper, so to speak, I would, uh, oops, wrong size, I would uh, be very careful with this. Come on, get down there, brush. Okay, now here, 
See, this is going to be part of the selection when I un take the, uh, the quick mask off. So I want it to be uh, all red. And down here. Okay, now we're going to take the hand tool and kind of wander around here and see what we've got. We've got some uh, red where it shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to take that out and fix up in here. And let's go down to the bottom see how we're doing there. There's a little bit here on this headlight, which shouldn't be. Uh -huh. Typically what happens is this antenna, thin places get masked and you don't want them. So we're going to put their uh, their antenna back in. There, that looks good, 10-4. Okay, and around here. Boom, boom. Okay, that looks like a pretty good uh, pretty good selection. Double tap on our zoom tool. Okay, now we're going to take the quick mask off just by clicking back over here. And now it's a selection. Okay, so now we're ready to add in our background. So if we take this guy here, we're going to do select all and then edit copy and then just move this out of there, go back to the truck and edit paste into. That's shift control V, shift command V on your Mac and just click there. Ah, look at that. Yahoo. Now I can take the move tool and I can move this background around and find the way I want it to look. So, how's that look? That looks okay. I mean, it's a, a decent background. So, hey, that, there's the first one. Now let's, let's take that one off and see if we can go backwards in time here. Step backwards. There, I want to do that. I want to go back. There, back to our selection. Now let's try this Las Vegas picture, see how it works. There's the Las Vegas picture. Select all, control A it is. Edit, copy. Now get back to our truck. Edit, paste into. Get our move tool, move it around. Oh, that's kind of neat. I guess the only difference here is that the uh, there's a bit of difference in the color and the brightness of these two images. So that may look a bit odd. You may have to fiddle around with that a little bit uh, to get it right. No, I don't think we'll use that one. So let's uh, let's let's go back. So the only one left is our boat picture. And it may work, it may not, but we'll we'll try it and see. Select all. Edit copy. Move it out of the way. Select the truck again and edit paste into. Now let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think probably the first one was the best one to do. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the first one and just leave it that way. And that's this guy here. Oh, he's still selected. What do you know about that? Edit copy. Out of the way. And edit paste into. Yeah, I think that's probably the best one. Maybe something like that. And the interesting thing is that you can see right here, you can see it happening through the windows. As I'm moving this around, you can see right through those side windows that uh, that it's doing what it's supposed to do. So that's how you create a uh, a new background. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you... Uh, jump off of YouTube now and rush off and just do a whole bunch of these things and try it out because you'll really like it. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. You have a good day.